All right. So this should be interesting. So I believe it was a couple weeks ago we actually reacted to a uh, a new Apocalyptica song, uh, which had uh, uh, I don't know how you say her name, so I apologize. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. But the lead singer of Amaranth, who I found years ago through like one certain song, and then I have fell in love with them since because their vocalists are just so talented. Um, but we have more Apocalyptica, this time featuring Metallica bassist Rob Truio. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, but um, I don't know what to expect because Rob's the bassist. So it makes me wonder if this is going to be metal, if this is going to be a ballad, kind of like the one from the Amaranth singer that Apocalyptica did. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to like this. But who knows? Um, the song's about five minutes long. Uh, the song is called The Four Horsemen. And Apocalyptica has been known for some concept, conceptual albums. Um, but I don't really know the lore and I don't know exactly what's been done in the past. I just love the music and I love the songs that they've done, uh, including singers like Brent Smith, Corey Taylor, um, Adam Gontier. I mean, they used to be one of the biggest orchestral bands um, in the 2000s. And so I'm glad to see them back and, you know, doing the same thing that they did years and years ago with other singers and uh, famous musicians alike. So, but enough talking. If you guys want to check out more stuff, feel free to hit the subscribe button to let you know when the new stuff comes out. So we try to do this every day if we can. So, but enough talking. Let's get to the video. Everything starts with a dream. Ah, oh, it's a Metallica thing. Oh, I like this. Very gallopy. I love this. Now, if I'm not mistaken, The Four Horsemen is actually a Metallica song. So this is actually a cover with Rob. very different from the original. Obviously way more orchestral in a sense.
The other thing that's extremely impressive is that they're using fretless cellos. Which I, because a lot of like the metal oriented ones tend to have frets sometimes, but yeah, I mean it takes so much uh, so much practice and skill to play a cello like that the way that they do. So this is the solo. So impressive. No wonder these guys are famous. sucks they didn't have rob in the video though that's really stupid but i mean it stuff happens but uh that was awesome so i didn't even realize it until um they started playing it and i'm like this so kind of sounds familiar and this is from the kill em all I album i believe um but the four horsemen and i'm guessing rob did the bass on it um so that way it could be you know a metallica branded cover um but i mean like it's still pretty badass. Like it's very impressive that you could take something that was originally written on a guitar, on a bass and, you know, drums in with vocals and play that on a cello, um, or even just a actual stand up bass. Um, it's just, it's extremely impressive. And I loved every minute of it because it's apocalyptic. I grew up with this band and it was so crazy to think that this was all being played for the most part on cellos. There was not a ton of guitar, if any. So man, that's awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out more, feel free to subscribe right down there. And then you could check out the playlist right up here. Um, the playlist has all of the music videos we've done as far as reaction content. Um, and uh, feel free to check out. I'll link it in this video over here. Uh, the last Apocalyptica song that we reacted to. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, rock on. Goodbye.